So here's the latest update on the slash peed. Um, basically, we're out driving today. We're actually, we hadn't even started, my buddy Mark and I. Uh, we got to our spot, and I tried to turn the car on, and for some reason, the trend, or the receiver on this car uh, ended up binding to Mark's transmitter somehow. And so the truck took off and stopped about 30 feet away, luckily. But what happened is I realized I only had rear wheel drive and that's because the drive shaft broke uh, the little output shaft. So I'll show you that real quick of what broke. Um, but I'm gonna throw in the Techno RC uh, drive shaft. So hopefully that'll put up with the abuse a little bit better. Um, so let me show you what broke. So the way the drive shaft connects, uh, it goes through the chassis here, the blue drive shaft, and it connects to the front differential, which is right there. Uh, however, you can see that it's completely broken off. Um, so therefore, when it tries to turn it, it just sits there and spins. Um, so let's get it pulled apart and take a look and get the new one swapped in. So here's what we get in the box. Uh, we get the drive shaft itself. Pretty nice looking piece, feels good in the hand. Got the uh, engraving on there. Two end pieces that it connects to. Uh, a couple of set screws and some rubber little washers in there and a sticker. I love stickers for some reason. Um, so to get this, the stock one pulled off, we're gonna take these two screws off. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to actually not take the front all apart, but if I have to, it's just a couple more screws, so no big deal. And on the top here, it's going to be those two screws right there. So once you get those two and the bottom two pulled off, the whole rear end of the vehicle comes off and the uh, drive shaft comes along with it. Okay, so I pulled the factory one out here. Um, so this is the differential side, but it's got the same piece on here. And you can see this is the one that was connected to the front and it is completely uh, sheared off. So not real strong here. Um, so hopefully this one is stronger. And then you're gonna end up with the out drives and some of these little uh, washers. Go ahead and put two of those inside here. And if you have trouble getting it lined up, um, you can put the uh, end of the drive shaft in there and it'll help straighten it out. But the little washers help take up the excess room inside of here to keep it from jiggling around. Um, the factory one is notoriously horrible for that. Um, so they just have little rubber washers to prevent that. And of course my little set screw uh, that's on here was stripped out. Um, so I had to uh, stick reverse bit screwdriver or drill bit in there and drill it out and eventually came off. So now it's time to get this puppy installed and uh, get struck back together and get four wheel drive back again. Okay, and then I was actually able to cheat rather than pull the whole front end off, I was able to just take off one of the wheels and that allowed me to, uh, there we go, gain access to the bolt here, unscrew that and pull that one off. Um, so now I've got the new piece on there and then make sure that you guys are using Loctite just to double check and give yourself the best opportunity to not have that come loose. So once you get the drive shaft back on, obviously pop the uh, rear end back on and you are all set. Fortunately, I've got the cover on here so you can't quite see it, um, but it's in there. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we don't run into any issues with this piece and uh, I don't have an issue where I switch to rear wheel drive only, not by choice.